guys and girls. So it is about 17 hours after the launch of season three, Call of Duty Warzone, Caldera, uh, Operation Monarch is what they're calling it, is the Godzilla versus King Kong. And as you Xbox users already know, we're getting issues with the fact that they're requiring Xbox Live Gold in order to play a free game that has been free to play since I believe it's April of 2020, perhaps 2021, but regardless, it's been free to play. I just purchased this Xbox One, sorry, this Xbox Series X. I don't know why I always get that confused. Um, but we're getting this message that we're not allowed to play on multiplayer. And if you go over to the Twitter page for Raven Software, they even acknowledge, if you scroll down a bit right here, we are investigating an issue where Xbox Live Silver users are unable to play Warzone. So Xbox Live Silver, is the free-to-play uh, version of Xbox Live. You don't have to pay a monthly subscription fee or yearly subscription fee, but what we're seeing in the last video that I posted was that even users with Xbox Live Gold, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, Game Pass whatever, are still experiencing these issues. So what I'm gonna go do right now is, well, before we do that, let's show you the Trello board. So first of all, they said 17 hours ago, Raven Software is investigating this issue. Now remember, back in December, when they launched season two, we had the same issue and it lasted nearly two months. Um, so it took them almost two months to get this fixed. If you go over to the Warzone Trello board, where they put up everything that's going on, in the world of Warzone, you scroll over to issues, global issues, started on April 27th was Xbox Live Silver players using Xbox Live Silver accounts are unable to join the game. So at least this time they're actually putting it up on the board right away because last time in December, it took them, oh geez, it took them until, it was after Christmas to acknowledge that there was an issue with Xbox Live Gold. So we'll see what happens. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of go through and troubleshoot some of these issues. Now, I kind of got onto the subject, but I stopped. I just bought an Xbox Series X last Friday. So five days ago, six days ago, whatever that is, it's five days ago. I bought this system and I bought it because Xbox now owns Raven Activision. And I figured there would be no issues. There would be more incentive to buy an Xbox and get going on that. Just like when PlayStation had the exclusive rights with Warzone, they had like zombie modes, they have uh, time limited modes that you couldn't get anywhere else. They got to start playing the game earlier. They got, you know, beta testing, all this stuff. I figured, you know, going with Xbox was gonna be the best decision. And honestly, so far it's not, um, but that's kind of another subject. Um, but anyways, we're going to go through, we're going to make sure that we're doing everything correctly and troubleshoot everything because this is what they're going to tell you when you call into Microsoft. So first of all, we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to sleep mode and startup. As you can see, I have it on sleep mode, so everything shuts down, but we're going to do a full shutdown and see what this does. Hey everybody. Sorry, we did get a new phone. We don't have uh, video editing and capture software right now. I know that you guys and girls really care about the content, not the quality of the content, I guess is what we're gonna say. So we're gonna wait like 10 seconds here while it fully shuts down. Now we're turning it back on.
And again, this is just to troubleshoot everything and make sure that everything is working the way that it should. If we scroll over to Warzone, we can see that everything has been properly shut down. So let's go ahead and jump back in. Checking for update. Well, you can be waiting a couple months to try to get the correct update to get us working again. But it just goes to show that they don't care about console users, especially Xbox. So we're still getting the same message. So doing a full shutdown restart does not help. We know that now and I'll save you guys and girls from going through that effort. So the next thing we're gonna try is we're gonna try deleting the account. So we're gonna to go to remove accounts. We're gonna remove this one. Now we're going to go back up. We're going to sign in. We're going to add new. So we just sign back in. It's going to go through all this stuff. Uh, stupid. No, I'm not in. Maybe we'll say no thanks to sign over our settings from our last Xbox. We'll start from, from fresh. Okay, so here we are. Everything's been shut down for disk optimization I have no idea what that is to be honest we just said okay and we're still getting the same message so doing the hard restart doesn't work deleting the account adding it back on does not work now it got me thinking though maybe because I've got this Xbox uh, Series S Xbox, sorry, Xbox One S. Again, I don't know why I keep buggering this up, but maybe I need to go back in there and sign out so that it's not thinking that there's two accounts trying to play. Maybe that's the issue. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're signed back into our Xbox One S, where we have our account automatically signing in. So we're gonna go back into here. We're gonna go to account, sign in. And 
right now, when we go to shut this system off, we'll be all set. Okay, so we are back on the Xbox Series X. We're gonna go into here, go to general, sleep mode startup. We're gonna full shut down, shut down, just so that we're clearing out everything. We've just gone ahead and removed the account and the instant sign-in from the series, or sorry, the Xbox One S. Geez, their naming's gotta change. We're gonna sign back into the Series X. We're gonna try this all over again. How fast this thing starts up it's crazy okay so we're gonna double check that this has been forced shut down it has we're gonna launch back in and if I haven't said it already thank you everyone for your support uh, the first video of this series that I had posted was the reason that I'm monetized now. If it wasn't for, well, honestly, if it wasn't for Activision Raven screwing up, uh, but really if it wasn't for you guys and girls, we wouldn't be at this point here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's try signing in. Nothing. Okay, so I thought maybe that because I had two Xboxes and two accounts going, at the same time that maybe that had something to do with it. It does not. Um, I had seen some other comments that uh, they played on multiple devices, they played in multiple locations. So I thought maybe this was something that was hindering uh, the Xbox process, but it is not. We can confirm that now. Okay guys and girls, so we are back and we're gonna try one more Hail Mary, last ditch effort to try to get on to Call of Duty Warzone, a free to play game. So as you can see here, dun, 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 Xbox Live Game Pass Ultimate, $50. We've heard mixed reviews about this and Xbox Live Gold, new memberships working but we're gonna put it to the test right here. Now, the reason why I have this is because I just bought this Xbox Series X five days ago. The Microsoft Store forced you to purchase Game Pass Ultimate in order to buy the system. Now, at first I was really upset about this because it was 50 extra dollars that I didn't need to spend. I don't like the idea of Game Pass. I don't like the game, the idea of Xbox Live Gold. I just want to get on and play my free games and carry on with life, similar to what happens on PlayStation or PC. And that would be Mr. Ichabod Crane making his hourly appearance. 
But what I thought about after is perhaps Xbox and Microsoft was doing this to try to stop the amount of scalpers um, buying systems and then reselling them. So that might be part of it. I don't think it's fair that I should be punished for what other people are doing, but such is life. This happens every day. We end up paying for other people's mistakes. So we're going to go through. We're going to add this Game Pass onto my account. And we're going to see if it works. So account. We're going to go to subscriptions. As you can see, I've got nothing. My last uh, subscription to Xbox Live Gold ended on February 11th. That was when they had just launched Season 2, and they had the whole screw-up that you had to have Xbox Live Gold for approximately two months in order to play a free game. And here we are again. The next season update, they've done it again. I don't know why it's so hard to get this figured out, but here we are. So we're going to go to see available subscriptions. We're going to go Game Pass Ultimate. We're going to click on this one. And you know what? Maybe we'll just join for a dollar and we'll save this Game Pass for the fall when we have more time to actually sit down and play some video games. So let's do this. We're going to try for a dollar. All it's going to cost me is a dollar to try this. And this is a good option for everybody else out there if it works because it's not going to cost you any more than a dollar. So as you can see now, it says, it's yours. Perfect. So before we went in and we did all this, we actually did a force shutdown just to make sure that everything was going to be okay. I'll go over here, double check that everything's been shut down. It has. Update requires restart. Okay. We didn't get that before. Disk optimization, okay. And dun da da da. We're in. Okay, so one or two things happened. Either the Xbox Live Gold works under the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which again we're trying for a dollar, or literally during this time frame at 11.06 p.m. Eastern Time they put out the patch. I'm not confident that they put out the patch. So I can confirm that Live Gold works. I don't wanna to get too much into why the heck they're taking away plunder and why they always have to mess around with plunder. Um, that'll be for another video. But as you can see, the only option out of the three that we tried, four. So we tried the force the restart, uh, the hard shutdown, the making sure that all the other accounts were turned off, removing the account from the system, adding it back on, and then ultimately buying Game Pass Ultimate, and that's work. So hopefully this helps you guys and girls troubleshoot what is going on with your particular situation. If you did like the video, 
think about giving me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Tell me why down in the comments. If you have any questions, I will answer them and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. Um, you guys and girls viewing is what is keeping this channel going. As we get more subscribers, we're going to get some more video capture software so that we can do this properly. But again, I believe and I think you guys and girls believe too that the content is more important than the quality of the content. So that's how we're going to proceed, at least for the near future here. Again, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. It doesn't cost you anything. You'll be the first to know when there's uh, updates for Xbox. And if you are looking to do some car repairs, home repair, home maintenance, you're going to find that here too. Some things that anybody is capable of doing because you got to remember, you never know unless you bear. We'll see you on the next one.